just cut up a papaya and I want to save the seeds. This is a tedious process. So you got to separate all of that papaya off the seeds. So I've got to do a little bit at a time. And weed through all of that. So I was doing this and I thought, why don't you share this on face on uh, <laughs> yeah Facebook, YouTube. So I am doing a mundane thing today, mundane thing, but I'm still focusing on foc uh, on what's in front of me, not what's behind me, and what's what, not what's to be done, but just what's in front of me so that my mind does not get overwhelmed with and make me rush through what I'm doing presently in order to feel like I can get to what everything else that needs to be done and this is a nice chore if you want to call it that to make me slow down because there's no fast way to do this that I know of. So I am preserving seeds to plant. I understand you can eat these things too, but um, I'm more interested in eating the fruit. I'm not crazy about um, the fruit if it's freshly cut and not chilled because it, it tastes really gross to me if it's not chilled but really good when it is chilled it's odd how that happens and why it's different but just trying to get the pulp off of all of these and I don't know if I'm gonna worry about all these other ones because there's quite a bit there so I don't think I'm gonna worry about these but I will go ahead and rinse these off. Kind of pressing them against the screen to rub off the remainder of the pulp that I couldn't get, and I think it's working. Yeah, it looks like it's working. So my next thing is to put these out so that they can dry. like most of the pulp is left in the screen, which is great. Some of it's still in here. I'll pick it out. But I think I have them clean for the most part. I'm just supposed to let them dry and when they're dry just put, a, put them in a jar with a loosely fitting lid. go from there because I would really like to grow some papaya again and if it's going to be papaya I want it to be this variety I don't know the name of it but it's um it's the one that has the star shape in the middle I don't know if that makes sense but it's not just open and round it's um, the seed bay the hollow out is in a star shape
look at this sorrel or roselle. I think Jamaicans call it sorrel. But this is roselle and my bush has prolifically produced. There's my full basket and I've got more to go. And as I was looking up how to harvest this, because this is my very first time harvesting these, I found that you don't want to just twist them off. You don't want to you don't want to cut the branch. You want to take your clippers, scissors or clippers, and cut it at the base. You want to cut it you want to cut it at the base of the uh, Kelix. Kelix, how, how do you say that? Anyway, and you, you grab it like that and you cut it at the base. And that will allow the stem itself to continue reproducing um, one or two more times for the season. Uh, and I definitely want that to happen. So this is what the bottom of the Kelix looks like. I've gotten a bunch of huge ones. I probably let them go too far, but maybe not. They're beautiful. Um, so I'm going to be finding out how to process these. I understand you can use them fresh for tea um, or dry them and use them later, but I think that they're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm not worrying about harvesting the little, little ones. I'm going to let them get bigger. Uh, what I'm interested in are the larger ones. I've brought all of my roselle inside. Kind of looks like that. And the what I found online is that people usually take something hollow like this and twist it on, and that pushes the seed out, which is really interesting. So then it leaves the calyx basically intact. My core tool is not an actual core tool for these. This is a soil sampler. So I thought I would try it out. I'm not really liking necessarily how it works. It's, it's fine and it'll work for the bigger calyxes, I suppose. But you can also just peel it off. And some people may just not want all the little pieces, but either way, it'll work the same whether you dehydrate it or um, boil it for tea or drink or however you want to do it. So I guess what I'm going to do, the easiest thing, quickest thing that I'm going to do, because I don't care if it's in pieces, I'm just going to peel them. It may not be the most efficient thing, but I feel like it takes a lot of energy to use the coring tool that I have. I'll have to invest in something that may work better. Uh, otherwise, I mean, this is my first time doing this. If you guys have any suggestions as to uh, an easier way to do this, I am open for that. But I'm just really excited for, for my harvest because they're just so beautiful. Um, I'm harvesting these... I harvested them on Friday, October 28th. The flowers recently fell off, leaving these behind. And from what I understand, these sorrel bushes flower when 
the seasons when the days get shorter. So I think that's pretty interesting. And I understand that if you leave the roselle on for longer, these will actually mature and I think pop open and you can harvest the seeds for the following planting. I've left some out there that didn't look so great. I just left them on the ground. So hopefully it'll reseed itself. I don't know if it will pop open now that they're off the plant, but um, I may have to leave a few more on the plant just so that they can go to seed because I do want to to keep this going and have more seasons of roselle. As far as I know, they will produce two or three times in a season, provided you don't harvest them by cutting the branches. Or um, if you harvest them by not cutting them here at the base, it affects the plant in a negative way so that it won't produce again. If you want to look at, oops, so one of the resources that I used to understand how to harvest these is um, I watched Dan Permaculture Food Forest YouTube channel and uh, I'll link his site below to the video that I watched and uh, so you can kind of get more of an idea from more of an expert than I am on how to do this. Okay, so I found a way to do this that I think suits me. At each opening here, at each seam, I just cut it, cut, cut, and that just makes it so much easier to just peel off. So it leaves that same as the core um, tool. But I've gotten most of the calyxes done just by doing it this way. And it seems to be going pretty easily. So uh, that works for me. I'd still love to hear how you guys do it. Um, if you have a core tool, I'd love to know where you got it and what you're using. I didn't know how really the anatomy of Roselle before. I didn't realize that the middle was like a solid seed pod. The way that the calyx looks, it looks like it might be full of maybe more of these petals, but um, it's really interesting that it's only one layer. Pretty cool. I cut one of the seed pods open earlier just to see what it was was in there. Let's see if I can do this one. And I can see that if I were to lift leave this on the plant and let it dry, it would pop open and have all the seeds available. I'm sure these are not viable because they're still green. Um, but that's how I've decided to do it. And here is my full bowl of sorrel or roselle. Took me a while, but I got a very full bowl. And here are all the pits. Feeling pretty accomplished about that. Now I am going to look up and see if I can, I'll probably refrigerate them first, wash them and refrigerate them, but then I'll look at dehydrating them and possibly freezing them, um, all the different ways to preserve, but probably the best way is to dehydrate, I'm thinking. You like the color of my fingers. Also, here are those papaya seeds that I washed off. They've been drying out since Tuesday. Today's Friday. Um, 
they've gotten pretty dry um, and shriveled up so I think we're gonna plant a few of them Sunday and then I will put the rest of them away uh, I may let them dry a little bit more but I'll put the rest of them away that's it for this short video. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Um, take care. God bless. Until next time. Bye.